Maharaj is a demonstration of wireless patient health monitoring project. So this is an innovative system that allows the doctors in a hospital or uh, uh, relatives or any uh, concerned person to monitor the temperature and heartbeat of a patient who is uh, resting remotely on a bed around uh, 5 to 8 meters away through this uh, wireless uh, module here. So in this system, the patient's health can be monitored wirelessly on a receiver system. So this is the you know system which is to be mounted uh, on the person which can measure uh, the person's heartbeat as well as temperature, the body temperature. And uh, this is the receiver system here. The receiver system or the monitoring unit is used to monitor the patient's heartbeat and temperature continuously. And as soon as the patient's temperature and heartbeat reaches a particular limit or crosses a particular limit, the system uh, sounds an alert or buzzer so that the doctor or the concerned person is alerted immediately and can take the required action to save the patient on time. So for this system uh, we are using uh, two 8 mega microcontrollers as you can see on both circuits and uh, on this circuit you can see an RF transmitter along with uh, push buttons to operate the system and uh, an LCD display along with heartbeat sensor and temperature sensor and this system uh, is used to transmit the patient data wirelessly and this is the receiver system here the receiver system consists of an RF receiver and the receiver is interfaced to another uh, 8 mega IC which is in turn interfaced to an LCD display for displaying the status and also has a buzzer for sounding an alert and both the systems are powered by 12 volt transformers so let's see how the system works so now let's see how the system works. So the system has been turned on and it uh, provides us two options. The patient system, the patient unit is providing us two options that is start and setting. In setting, we can uh, set the you know, limit for uh, patient heartbeat. So let's go to the setting. Uh, App. using these push buttons here so as you can see this is the lower limit here we can set the lower limit of the patient's heartbeat so that if the patient's heartbeat goes below this limit it will sound a, an alarm at the receiver unit so let's set this to 50 now let's set the upper limit. So this is the, we have set the upper limit to one time. So this is the heartbeat per minute. So we have set the heart rate limit. And now let's uh, start the system monitoring. So before starting the system we have to wear the heartbeat sensing model and let's start the system now so the system has started and it is monitoring continuously and as you can see the temperature has been transmitted and now it also has started transmitting the heartbeat to the receiver unit and since it is uh, under a particular range, inside a particular range, uh, it doesn't uh, show any uh, buzzer or alert. So now let's do one thing, let's increase the temperature at the patient unit. So to increase the temperature, we will see the light here. So currently the limit has been set and uh, the temperature is above you no know, permissible limit and so it has uh, sounded a buzzer at the receiver system so that the doctor 
is alerted about the patient's uh, status and uh, respond quickly. So also let's uh, check out the So let's simulate the temperature rise. So when the temperature goes above a particular limit, the system will alert the doctor. So as you can see, as soon as the temperature went above a particular limit, the system sounded a buzzer and the doctor was alerted immediately. So that the doctor can attend the patient and now let's uh, check the heartbeat detection so now let's simulate a lower heartbeat by you know removing the module in between so that we can simulate as a, that the heartbeat has gone below permissible limits So now as you can see, as soon as uh, the heartbeat went uh, below a particular limit, the system uh, sounded a buzzer to alert the doctor that the patient's heartbeat has gone below permissible limit so that the doctor can react immediately and save the patient in time. And also we have a manual help uh, button here. So using the manual help switch, the user or the patient can also manually call the doctor in case of any issues using this button here so this is the help button so when the patient uh, presses this button as you can see uh, the so as soon as the user presses the, this button as you can see on the monitoring screen on the doctor's unit it shows that the patient needs help and sounds a buzzer again. So this is how the wireless patient health monitoring project works. Thank you.